Well, this is a beautiful estate. I think it's 30 acres out here. They have like probably a six or seven acre pond. Yep. Ed built our buddy here, Bob, pond maybe a dozen to 15 years ago, which is the last time you were here. And today, what are we doing, Eddie? We are coming out to capture and collect baby turtles. <laughs> 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 hey, Greg. You ready to get some turtles? We just might happen to do that. <laughs> and your son, your son painted this, didn't he? My son is the artist. Isn't that amazing? No We've been doing this for about 10 or 11 years. Watch the Midland painted turtles as they leave the water, the females, every morning and every late afternoon. We know the areas now because they have they go back to the same areas every year. Oh. oh. We stake it about 30 feet away, we'll wait, we'll come back about two, three hours. When she's gone, we categorize it, we inventory it, put a, a wire mesh over it, and then we put a cage over it. Oh my it. gosh. And this year, I think we got 54 nests. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Then what I do is I bring them down into our facility downstairs, and uh -huh. I head start them. We yep. get them eating, yep. we get a little growth on them, yep. and then we release them. That's cool. And we want to bring some back to Aqualand to head start them. Yeah, sure, you go ahead and do that, and I'll tell you how to do that. Yes. So I, I'll take you down to our facility now, and I'll show you the ones that we took out last week. We built this home 15 years ago. We designed this room and built the home over it. <laughs> <laughs> Started with the most important. Room. Wow, mm -hmm. check this out. Yeah. This is incredible. Yeah. Oh. Jeez. I, I breed uh, three different species of tortoises. We have different communities throughout the United States that we trade back and forth okay. and we try to keep these endangered species, what we call assurance colonies. If someday the natural environments improve themselves, we can release them. Here are the babies that, oh. that <laughs> I just took out uh, last week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, so yeah. cute. But seriously speaking, the Midland Map Turtle is my favorite turtle in the whole world. And the reason being is they're so beautiful. Look at look at the coloration yeah. on them. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah, with the orange belly. Oh, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Such a great little turtle. But the babies are in here. Oh, we had probably over 500 in here one time. Oh. Nice little setup for yeah. 500 baby turtles, and then of course you got all of the all of the tortoises. What's the, what's the most rare tortoise you have in here? Well, they were on this wall over here. They're called uh, Pixies planicata, a spider tortoise, a flat-tailed tortoise from Madagascar. That's these guys right here. Mm -hmm. I've been breeding these for about 11 years now, and they only lay one egg maybe twice a year, and that's it. So how long, what year did you get this pond built? See, it's gotta be 13 years ago. So. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, this is just amazing. Look at that moss growing all over everything. It looks awesome, that big old giant slab. Yeah, you there. know, isn't it something, when you first put something, it, it looks so new and yeah. you, you, you just, you wanna snap your fingers and say, please make this look <laughs> like it's been there a long time. Exactly. Well, this, this is the result of it. This is the result. Look at, look at that moss. I mean, that, so awesome. that was not put in there. That, yeah. that just occurred. Yep. You know? Incredible. Yeah. Wow. So natural. Yeah. All right, let's go catch some turtles. Yep. This is what we call the mud plug. And the female, she'll start excavating with her hind legs and she'll get down and make a flask type channel and make a chamber at the bottom where she opens up. She then deposits her eggs in there. She starts covering the nest with the dirt and then she starts going up and down with her shell, pounding it down. And wow. that's what creates the cap. Now watch carefully now. Ah, ah, that is awesome. <laughs> She's your papa. <laughs> so what do we got? Three, three, four, nine. This is an aquascape nest. <laughs> Planned accordingly. <laughs> so we got 10 babies out here. That's way over the average. Wow. Now, very important, what we've started doing, we take all the small particles of eggshells uh -huh. and dispose of them. We don't leave them in the nest because we don't want predators to be attracted ah, to this nest ah. any more than they already are. Isn't that beautiful? Very cool. Beautiful little Midland painted turtles. Ed, I love my job. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> <laughs> no, not as much as I love my job.
So this is called citizen science, right, Bob? That's exactly what we're experiencing right now. Science is not only for scientists, it's for us, for the average person that we can make a difference as it relates to conservation. I agree This is 100%. citizen science. I love it. The aquascape style. Nice. <laughs> Look at that! Right there, Ed! <laughs> Holy cow! And they, they, what's so awesome is how oh, fast they come out! Us. It's like immediately! That is unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, this looks like a good nest too. Three... Moving yes! Yep. Ten. Ten. ten! We tied wow. the first one. Okay, your turn, Ed. <laughs> Alright, Ed. Ready. So far, what you experienced in these two nests is exceptional. I have to admit it. Ten and ten. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> nice! Look at this! <laughs> so incredible. First time they're seeing light. <laughs> so how many we got so far? Four. Okay. All right. Well, seven isn't bad. Seven is excellent. It's not as good as ten. So there's one. Looks like he's still in the egg, huh? Yeah, he's just starting to come out right here. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> And you can see the yolk sac is just about absorbed. Oh, so he's yeah. he's been kind of lazy, just sitting in there waiting for his buddies to call him. We're going to take him, but I won't put him in the water. We'll take him and put him in damp sphagnum moss for a few days in a warm environment. And, He'll be fine. And, and let and let that yeah, yolk sac get absorbed a little more. Yeah, I'm going to leave them leave him in the Except egg though. Out here in the backyard, enjoying nature. Look who's hatching! We got Tanner from Serpa Designs here, and we were just checking on the turtles. And I said they should be hatching any day, and then sure enough, cute is that? Yeah, he just that one just moved. <laughs> so fun at Aqualand. Okay, we got a bucket of turtles. We do. See, I'm yeah, that's why I put the mulch in there. He said to make him feel comfortable. Well, I think Rob's got a pretty good thing set up. For All right, let's check it so out. Let's go check it out. In the retail design center. Oh, Amy, you'll like this. Look what we got. 34 baby turtles. <laughs> So maybe we have some floating plants up here, or we got all of our plants. Oh, here we go. Get some water hyacinths and water lettuce. They'll love to go in these roots. Honeywort, that, that could be kind of cool inside of there. And that will be the setup. We're yeah, we'll already that. starting to climb the rocks. Yeah, we'll tuck this guy right in that little pocket there. Take him climb in there. Perfect. That's a nice little habitat oh, for them to grow out. And then Ed, Absolutely. right back here, you're gonna put something together, right? So Exactly. So I'm gonna go out and back and look. We have some display tanks, of like fiberglass. A big four foot by four foot, which would be perfect. It's actually a mini version of what Bob has at his place. But we'll get some of the logs and stuff, shallow water. We'll create some little islands. We'll get some flat stones inside of there. Pull those, some different types of aquatic vegetation that we have tons of. Planting it all up, and this will be a perfect home form for the next six months or so, at least six to eight months until we're gonna release them next year.